Who would win if Larry Holmes and Muhammad Ali fought in their prime? Like 1967 Ali Fives, 1980 Holmes. This is one of those what-if questions that stir up endless debates among boxing fans. Two legends from different eras, prime Muhammad Ali versus prime Larry Holmes. Here's how I see it. Muhammad Ali, 1967. Ali in 1967 was a force of nature. He was 25 years old with astonishing speed, agility, and reflexes for a heavyweight. His footwork was ballet-like, and he could dance circles around opponents. He had just beaten the likes of Sonny Liston and Floyd Patterson with seeming ease. Not only was his physical prowess unparalleled, his mental game and psychological warfare were also second to none. Ali's style relied heavily on his ability to dodge punches and retaliate with lightning-quick jabs and combinations. Larry Holmes, 1980. Larry Holmes in 1980 was no slouch either. He was in his prime, known for his granite chin, incredible stamina, and one of the best jabs in the history of the sport. Holmes possessed a tactical mind in the ring, methodically breaking down his opponents over the course of a fight. His fight IQ was off the charts, and his resilience under pressure was legendary. Holmes also had the advantage of being a slightly larger and stronger fighter compared to Ali. Strengths and Weaknesses Ali's strength was his unmatched speed and mental toughness. However, he often didn't deal well with body shots and sometimes got caught when his guard was down. Holmes' main strength lay in his impeccable jab and extraordinary ability to take a punch. His weakness, if any, was his relative lack of mobility compared to Ali. The Fight In a hypothetical matchup between 1967 Ali and 1980 Holmes, I would lean towards Ali taking the win though it would be far from a blowout. Ali's speed and footwork would enable him to evade Holmes's punishing jab more often than not. Holmes would definitely land his share of shots, but Ali's grit and resilience would shine through. Ali's strategy would likely involve frustrating Holmes with his superior movement and peppering him with fast, snappy jabs and combinations. Holmes, meanwhile, would aim to cut off the ring and systematically break down Ali with his jab and body shots. Conclusion after 12 or 15 rounds of high-level boxing, I see Ali taking a close decision. His speed, agility, and psychological edge would give him a slight upper hand. However, Holmes's resilience and strategic mind would ensure that this would go down as one of the greatest fights in boxing history.